Hi developers, subscribers and friends, I'm Stefan Bertosz and in today's video I would like to show you how to deploy whatever you want into the Google Cloud Kubernetes engine. Why? It's because one of the colleagues from our DevOps group, DevOps community requested this. Do you know that the Google has a free tier? The free tier offering which will give away $300 for 12 months? If not, go to cloud, uh, go, go to your browser and follow the link for the free trial and register there. The link and all the other links will be in the description of this video. I cannot register this because I'm already out of the offer. So if you type in your browser Google Cloud Free Tier, you can follow the link and the guide which will then register you into the Google Cloud. And if you are done, you can log in into the Google Cloud console by following these links. I'm already having console open, console cloud, google.com. And let me create a new project. This project will be called Demo. I have to use my billing account obviously and I have no organization. So let's create what will happen under the hood. Google Cloud will create me a new brand new project. So we can select the project and start from scratch. So we are in the project demo and we can start doing some stuff here. Basically what we will do, we will create a, a Kubernetes cluster and deploy whatever we want using Helm. And when where you will find the Helm, you can search uh, for Helm charts in Bitnami repository or in Google or on the GitHub. So for example, in the Bitnami, they have quite a lot of prepared Helm charts, just use it. But I chosen Zelenium because we were using this in one of the prototypes which uh, we were trying in the DevOps group, in the DevOps community. So let's play. We are in the Google Cloud console and let's navigate through the menu. If we scroll down a bit, we should see compute section and in this Kubernetes engine. After clicking on the Kubernetes engine, it will redirect you to the um, to the page where you need to enable the Kubernetes engine API to continue. So let's enable this. Only when the API is enabled, we will be able to go to the next page, which will be to set up the Kubernetes cluster. And now we are on the page where we can create Kubernetes cluster. So click on the create button. You can have a standard autopilot. We will use the standard one. Click on configure. And now because we are a bit lazy, we can use a guide which is already set up for your first cluster. So let's click on the my first cluster. We will configure this a bit. So let's click on customize. Let's keep the name and I definitely recommend to change the zone because you want to have this server running closely to you. If you don't know what zones are, go to this region zones page and navigate to zone wherever you like. I will choose the Frankfurt one, which is in Europe, West 3 minus B. So let's try to check this. Europe, West 3 minus B, and then click next uh, for all the rest mm, let's keep the defaults what we need to change is the type of the cpu and memory because our selenium needs more and we need something which will be having uh, more memory so let's use n1 and two cpus um, and almost eight gigabytes of memory. Let's keep the disk and let's go next. So the setup looks reasonable. Let's save the changes.
and now click on create cluster on the right side you will see what will be the cost this will be a very lengthy operation so be patient it will take some time to create provision the cluster and after three coffees the cluster is up and running so you'll see we have three nodes uh, six CPUs because there was um, 0.2 and a lot of memory um, good so what next as next we will go into the cluster details and click on the connect uh, with this we will connect via cloud shell to our cluster so let's execute the command this will also take a while it will provision some special machine for us and then we will be able to add some commands so let's click enter yeah let's authorize it and what we need to do is to issue a couple of commands first command is to create a new namespace so let's copy paste the commands commands will be in the description uh, commands are kubectl create namespace let's execute this second command will be there to add our repository helm repository for zelenium next command is just there to perform a refresh of the helm charts and the last command is basically installing the helm chart with the name my release and it will install exactly the helm chart which we want after the installation it will uh, also propagate this to the external ip to get the external ip we will issue another command and the command is kubectl get service when the external ip you see pending this means it's not yet startup just be patient repeat it and when this change you will have the ip where you can try it in your browser so you see from pending it's changed to some particular ip let's copy paste this let's put it into the browser and check what will happen it seems we are up and running that's good we can try to go to the grid console yeah all is up and running as we want it so as you see that was very 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 simple way how to deploy this via the helm chart you just need to know what helm chart to use what parameters to use and so on so to not spend our resources on this demo let's just delete the cluster and the deletion of the cluster and all of its resources is simple select the cluster click delete type the cluster name and confirm the deletion this will also take some time so this was a manual way how to deploy things usually um, you will be using some automation like google templates or terraform or whatever else but i just wanted to show you how easily you can deploy something if you have a helm chart into google kubernetes engine and that's all if you like the video hit subscribe and tell your colleagues see you in the next video there are plenty of them on my channel channel bye